All right guys, Quantum FT here coming at you with a brand new update video covering the patch notes for patch 3.2 for Apex Legends. I believe it's currently out on PC right now. I know that for sure. I don't think it's out on console yet, but I'm sure it'll be rolling out in the next few hours. I'll keep you guys updated. Let's take a look first at the progression update, AKA they increased the levels from the level cap from 100 to 500 and the XP required to hit level 100 has been reduced by about 5% to smooth out level XP increases. Also level 2 to 20 you get one pack every level. Level 22 to 300 you get one pack every two levels. Then level 305 to 500 you get one pack every five levels. As well as players will earn a player level gun charm every 100 levels. Now we also got new gun charms. I've covered that in a previous video. We got 36 new gun charms that are going to be going into apex packs at epic and legendary tier. Also gun charms will also appear in the rotating shot for players who do prefer to just straight up buy them versus you know going and buying apex packs you can just straight up buy the charms respawn is also saying that they're taking notice and they're listening to the feedback loud and clear that the peacekeeper is still feeling too overpowered too powerful after the latest update even though it was just nerfed people are saying and i know i'm definitely still feeling it it's still too powerful but they say they're working out to push out more tweaks to address it as soon as possible so i'm sure my guess would be is that they're going to nerf it again. Also, you guys can see on screen right now, we've got a quality of life update where helmets and armor should now be more colorblind compatible and appear slightly more vibrant. I definitely noticed that. They say, please, please let us know if this improves the experience for you. They also added an on off setting that determines if taking damage while looting at a death box closes the menu. You can toggle this on and off in the gameplay section of settings. They also made improvements to the final circle locations. I'll be honest, I like that they did that to help, uh, to help back bad end locations to provide more variety. Real quick, comment down below the best thing you've opened up in an Apex pack. Let me know, I'll reply to every single comment. They also finally added the inspect animation for Lifeline's heirloom. You guys can take a look at that right now. Thank the Lord, it looks freaking sick. Also, for PC only, they fixed an issue where using an arrow key after selecting a number field in the settings would jump to the next option instead of changing the selected value. Also, gold armor spawn rate has been reduced, so it's a little bit more rare now also lastly players will now receive a prompt allowing them to cancel finishers in progress thank the lord thank the lord for that man i'm so happy we're uh, we're able to cancel finishers now they also came out with like 20 bug fixes for like fixing visual bugs bugs where players were able to instantly revive each other in certain locations crypto bugs with the tactical hud looking like it was stuck recharging until you used it you guys can see all of those updates right there all the bug fixes i don't want to go over every single one it would take way too long let's get to the update to the knockdown shields you guys can also see this on screen they've got ko shield protection now extends over and behind the player's head instead of just right in front of you thank you for that they also increased and buffed knockdown shields the regular gray one you get it doesn't just protect 100 now protects 200 hp and the blue one you get after that it doesn't protect 250 hp it goes to 450 hp so the update to these knockdown shields are they're way stronger now also player movement while ko shield is reduced from 0.65 to 0.55 so you move a little bit slower but you've got way more health you can also see that watson got a buff the interception pylon is now significantly more aggressive in the way that it shoots down grenades rather than just identifying between incoming and outgoing projectiles it now predicts the trajectory of grenades thrown within the interception zone and intercepts them if they will land anywhere within that zone this means that no grenade can contact any surface with the interception zone regardless of team but players can fire grenades outwards from anywhere within the zone that is definitely a buff to watson for sure so the last thing we got is the firing range of friendly fire is now supported so you can now 1v1 you can toggle it off and on in the settings this also only appears if more than one player is in firing range with you so you won't have any problems they also fixed the last couple issues with legends abilities and animations as well as the invisible zipline glitch if you're new make Make sure to hit that subscribe button it's totally free to stay up to date on everything on apex legends click that like button if you enjoyed the video it only takes two seconds make sure to turn your bells on as well it's been your boy quantum ft thanks for watching and i'm out peace also i'll link the, the patch notes down in the description bye